Huh, it's been a long time since I checked my P.O. box. I hope I didn't miss anything. Yep, that's about right. Hey guys, it's Puppylover863 here, and finally I am back with a new P.O. Box fan mail opening video. I know, I know, you have every right to at me and roast me right now. I am so bad with like keeping up with series schedules. I am absolutely super duper sorry that I have not made a P.O. Box video in so long. But now that I'm on summer vacation and it's quarantine, I have no excuse and will do my best to catch up with as many letters and packages as I can in today's video. Like I mentioned in a previous P.O. Box video, I'm going to be opening the letters and packages that specifically indicate um, that I should open on camera. Like there'll be some people that write, please open on camera, or, please show this on camera, etc. Just any indicator that I should open this in a fan mail video. But if I don't open your mail in the fan mail video, I'll still shout out the name and where the mail came from. Just know that I received your letters and read them all and I love them so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Hey guys, this will be my first fan mail video with my face. So for this fan mail video, I thought I would switch it up instead of hiding behind the camera. This time you guys get a taste of what? creator life is like. This is your inside scoop of being an LPS tuber. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of my face in future videos. This is, again, this is just me switching it up and seeing if you guys like this format or if I should just go back to my roots and sulk behind the camera. <laughs> Anyways, as Mulan would say, let's get down to business. Or no, wait, Shang said that. Let's just get down to business. So this first letter comes from Hope from New York. Man, I haven't done this in so long, so if I somehow stutter throughout this entire thing, I apologize. Ooh, wait, there's another envelope in this. This is so cute. Okay, I wanna open this drawing first. Oh my, <laughs> okay, this is really cute. I'll show you um, in another shot, but this is the cast of Hashtag Daris, and she asked me to color this in. So I will color this in and I will insert the finished product right here. I can't see it, but it'll be there. Now let's open this mystery envelope. There's a cute little human drawing and it says, open on camera, please, I'm begging you. Don't worry, I will answer your please and open this on camera. And it looks like it's a letter. Dear Puppy Lover 863 Hi, my name is Hope and I'm from New York. I am 10 years old and I've been watching you for four years and I'm in sixth grade. My favorite character is Phineas. Um, sorry if air. Oh no, you're fine. Um, because I love Pac-Man as well. By the way, Merry Christmas. This is where the awkwardness comes in. A lot of these were from Christmas. I am so sorry that I'm like super late to this game. There's, there's really no excuse for how late I am. No matter how busy I am in college, no matter like what goes on in my life, I really need to catch up on these letters. So I apologize in advance for any future letters or packages I open that are like super late. I'll, I'll, I'll do better. That'll be my new year's resolution or my mid year's resolution. I hope you like my fan art. Get it? <laughs> yep. Yep, that was a thinker. I get it. You're the best. Hashtag Vine is not dead. Yes! Keep the Vine trends going. Vine is not dead. We need more hashtag Daris. Yep, I second that. I have a question for you. Do you like football? If you do, what's your favorite team? I love the Steelers. Anyway, love you. XOXO Hope. Oh, thank you so much for your letter. And to answer your question, I don't really keep up with Football. I don't know if you're referring to soccer or American football. I'm not really big of a sports person, but every now and then I'll catch up on FIFA or if the Super Bowl's going on, I'll be into the halftime show and commercials. And I was thinking, because a lot of you guys have been submitting dares through fan mail, she wrote down a list of dares for my characters to do. I was thinking I could stockpile these dares and create a fan mail edition of hashtag dares. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to happen. Anyways, this is the fan mail that she drew. Oh, I'm guessing this is uh, Justin and then that's Daisy. Correct me if I'm wrong, I need a couple of more interpreters of art here, but this is really cute. All oh, your little characters are so cute as well. Thank you so much, Hope, for your letter. This is adorable. Okay, and then our next letter, which has a bunch of smiley stickers on it, is from Emma from Mississippi. Let's slide this letter out of here. Oh my gosh, we got Daisy over here. We got Layla, she looks a bit annoyed. And we got Justin, hey. Hi puppy lover, this is my first letter to a YouTuber. Congrats, welcome aboard. By the way, my name is Emma and I hope you read this in a video. 
check. My birthday is September 15. Well, happy early birthday. It looks like your birthday is about two months away. P.S. There's a drawing in the back. Yes, I saw the drawing and it was absolutely adorable. And she also wrote in the corner and you should make a sequel to Vine Cafe. Well, I may or may not have something in the works already. Keep your eyes peeled. Anyways, thank you for your letter and the beautiful drawing, Emma. I love them all so much. Okay, we're gonna switch things up now. We have a package that comes all the way from Greece. Oh my gosh, oh wow, oh wow. Oh jeez, Manetti, okay. First of all, we have this cute little, wait, is that supposed to be me? And there's a dog bone there, oh my gosh. And you know me so well, it's written in purple ink. <laughs> Moving on, um, looks like we have a couple of blind bags that she sent to us. I guess we should open them and find out what they are. More, oh my gosh, we have a Minion Invasion sequel here. Look at this. Okay, so here we have our first Minion. It has hair on it. I've never had a Minion with hair before, but it's really adorable. You're so fluffy. And here's another one. It looks like he's going snorkeling, I think. Is this gonna be a trend? Are tons of people just gonna send me minions out of nowhere? And then it looks like this is a duplicate of the first minion that I showed you. If there's a, if there's gonna be more minion invasions in upcoming videos, you know what? I just go just go for it. Well, we have this become a like a minion fan mail opening. And then it looks like there's a little bow accessory. That could be perfect for like upcoming videos. Thank you so much. All right, it looks like we have another blind bag. Let's open this bad boy up. More? There's more? Oh my gosh, not only do we have a minion invasion, we also have a smurf invasion? I don't know all the names of the smurfs. I've watched the first movie and I've never seen the second one. It looks like this guy is missing- oh wait, just kidding. I was gonna say he's like missing a lower half, but um, found it. <laughs> Oh, low darkness, my old friend. And then we also have a SpongeBob figurine. It looks like he's about to go swimming as well. He's missing arms and legs though. I mean, I guess that's canon. Sponges don't really have arms and legs. Last but not least, we still got a letter to open. Guess what? Love you. Oh, I love you too. Hi, puppy lover LPS. I love you. You are one of the best LPS tubers in the world. Question, what is your favorite color? Purple. As you can tell by the bed, by the walls. Do you watch any other LPS tubers? Absolutely. And a, t and a couple of these LPS tubers are actually my really good friends. So, I mean, I gotta support my friends, but I'm always on the lookout for up and coming LPS tubers as well. And plus it says, I'm a Greek girl. And on the back, it looks like she made some drawings. Puppy lover LPS. Oh, this is so cute. We got a little bird, a calico cat, a dog. You know, I'm all about dogs. Another dog, it looks kind of like Layla almost, and a little paw print that says, I think it's supposed to say LPS, but the marker bled, but I still love it. Thank you so much for your letter I, and packages. I loved all the little surprise figurines that you sent. This is like, are minions just gonna continue to like invade my channel now? And now we've got Smurfs and SpongeBob invading my channel? Oh no, what's gonna become my LPS channel? So our next letter comes from Catherine from Illinois. And on the front she wrote Merry Christmas with like a little dog portrait. And again, I apologize in advance for not opening this on Christmas. I will be, I'll be honest, life from K to 12 is a lot more different than when you're in college. In college, that's when you really have to think serious about like adulting. Okay, so these are numbered and this one says one. So I guess I'll open this one first. Dear Puppy Lover 863, hey, my name is Catherine. I'm 12 years old, but by the time this letter reaches you, probably 13, because my birthday's on December 18th. Happy belated birthday, Catherine. I can't believe you're a teenager now. This year's been very hard on my family because my mom passed away in May. My grandma, um, her mom, the next month, my, an aunt and my grandpa in the hospital with few days left. We started a new school as well, and finals are coming up. But regard all that, your videos keep me going. You always stay positive, and your videos make me laugh. I love your LPS hashtag, Daris. You are by far my favorite LPS tuber as well. Keep doing what you do and making my life just that much better. And close is a quick sketch I drew for you. Love, Catherine. Oh, and I love the little curse. I, your cursive is beautiful. 
That's better handwriting than I could have ever done back in like when I was 13. So Catherine, if you're watching this, I'm really, really sorry that you have to go through all that. And just know that my thoughts are with you and I wish you all nothing but positivity and positive vibes and lots of love throughout the rest of your teenage years and even beyond that. You are stronger than you think you are and don't let anyone take that strength away from you. I believe in you, girl. You got this. And it looks like the sketch is what's on the second piece, but I want to be polite and read through the questions that she wrote. Have you ever lost a loved one? Yes. So one of my grandfathers passed away when I was around four or five years old, but it didn't really affect me because I was super young. I didn't know what was going on at the time and I didn't have a close connection with him. The first loss in my family that really stuck with me was my last grandfather. He was the one that I was super close with and he's the one that inspired me to carry on his legacy through these videos because he was always a wonderful storyteller. He loved telling his childhood stories about what it was like back in the good old days. And I feel like telling these stories that are based on real life, it lets me be closer to him somehow. If so, what kept you going or inspired you? Well, just knowing that my grandpa loved to see other people around them be happy. I know that if they were alive today, they would want me to keep moving forward my life. And my grandfather in particular was an optimist. He, even throughout his last years, he would keep a smile on his face and he would laugh and tell jokes with his folks. I know that my grandfather deep down would have wanted me to stay positive even throughout the darkest of times and I think that's just the one thing that's really kept me going. And then the last question, does 863 part in your name mean anything or is it random? It was random, but I did know that I want the numbers in my username to end with a three just because it had a nice ring to it, but the numbers have no significant meaning towards my life whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, now let's see the sketch that she made. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my, this is, oh my gosh, you guys, take a, this is gorgeous. The shading, the details, I, I am so, sh I am so shook right now. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And I bet Daisy herself would appreciate it as well. Thank you so much for your letters and your drawing and for telling me your story. Catherine, if you're watching this, I would dive right through the screen right now to give you a big hug, but the next best thing, I can just give you an air hug. Mm, love you, girl. Okay, this next one is from Angel from West Virginia. Again, gotta be very careful with opening packaged letters like these. All right, looks like we have three separate uh, pieces of paper folded up very neatly, and I don't know which one to open first, and the anxiety is getting to me right now, and I don't know what to do. And I'll just pick a random one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get awkward during these fan mail videos. Ooh, this is cute. All right, so it looks like she draw a little heart with wings and a halo and an upside down heart right here that says BFF. And on the back, she drew a little doggy. Oh, that's so cute. Next one. And it looks like it's another letter. Dear Puppy Lover 863, you are my favorite YouTuber ever. I only have one LPS and that LPS is a mini one. I'm sorry I had to make an envelope. I ran out of them. Oh, no worries, you're fine. And it looks like she wrote down some questions. Number one, what's your very first LPS? I don't know exactly which LPS was my first LPS because I got a bundle of them for my seventh birthday, but two you may recognize, I'll put on screen here, is Kali number 58, who you recognize as Sage from LPS Popular, and Persian Cat LPS number 15, who you may know as Aunt Harley from LPS Lovers Grave Matters. Do you love wolves? Yes, I do, but someone I know who loves wolves more than me is one of my good friends from high school. She, her persona is wolves, her aesthetic is wolves, she loves anything wolves, and I am, I stand for it. And wolves are the ancestors of dogs, so I'm a bit biased. <laughs> Which LPS do you hate? I can't really think of one at this point, but I'll put it up on the screen right here. I wouldn't say that I hate the LPS, just maybe the design isn't the greatest or like, I don't know if maybe it's just some things I don't really like, but hate's a pretty strong word. I'm only good at drawing wolves. Well, I'm only good at drawing animals, so I can relate to you, girl. Oh, and is that a little panda bear? That is so cute. And it looks like she made a little drawing. She wrote, P.S. Sorry, it looks bad. Oh, don't worry about it. And it looks like it's, I think it's one of the short haircuts. I don't know if it's Fern or Florence, but either way, she looks so, so super cute. I love it. Now time for this last one. 
Oh, it's another drawing? It says Destiny. I'm not sure if you're referring to like Destiny as an LPS Hannah's mascot or Destiny the Dachshund, but either way, this is still really cute. And on the back here, she wrote, you are the best LPS tuber. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, so my dad just texted me from the room next door and said that he has a meeting in a couple of minutes, so I will stop recording, take a break, and then I'll pick back to where I left off. So don't go anywhere.